Hey guys, what is up? It's Roel here coming to you today with something RXD and today we're going to be looking at the handstand push-up. Uh, three steps to try and improve your handstand push-ups. So the first thing we're going to look at is, um, is it a problem of mobility? So do you find it hard to get your shoulders into that position? Do you kind of get stuck here and you find that you can't quite get into that position? Is it maybe a problem of strength? So is it maybe an issue where you just aren't strong enough to press from that dead stop at the top or start lowering yourself down? Or is it a problem of, um, of movement? Maybe you've just never been upside down in that position in and of itself is just a little bit foreign to you and you want to try and improve it a little bit. So how can we address mobility? Um, we can address mobility with stretches. How can we address strength? We can start addressing strength with negatives and weights. And we can look at movement um, with scaling options, things like pikes, um, holds, and things of that nature. Now, all these three things need to be done in conjunction to get you to understand and feel in a better handstand push-up or handstand position. We could look at stretches, but if we don't look at holds and doing negatives, you know, you're still gonna be far away from performing a good handstand push-up. We can look at pikes and do weights, but if we're not looking at stretching and addressing your mobility, then again, you could be really far away from doing a handstand push-up. Now, you, what you wanna understand and what you wanna try and achieve is figure out how can we get all these three things to be working together to try and improve your handstand push-up. More on this in our next video. Make sure to go over to our website to check out the full video on how you can address and improve your handstand push-ups. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Take care and peace.